Believe it or not, there is such a thing called amnesiac self shellfish poisoning. That is a tongue twister, my friends. <laughs> uh, in which you would be able, you would be eating shellfish, and due to certain uh, chemicals that have accumulated in the shellfish, might uh, you might have symptoms that lead up to amnesia, low level diarrhea high-level amnesia. Diarrhea if you're lucky. Uh, we've all heard about the red tide. So this is basically what happens, is you have uh, algae blooms. In mm -hmm. this case, they are diatoms. It's phytoplankton. And shellfish don't get to choose what they filter. You know, oh. they, they just eat what's available to them, what the current brings. So they to them, it's harmless, and they end up filtering larger amounts than usual. So the silica shells and the diatoms basically the outside shell of them, mm -hmm. gets accumulated inside. And to them, harmless, once we eat that shellfish, poisonous. Right. And it was yeah. fascinating. It was kind of an investigatory journey for them because all these people got sick in this one area of Canada in 1987. This is when this first popped up. And wow. they had to figure out what was that link between all of them. Then they found that they all had fed on mussels or oysters and things like that. This chemical, demoic acid, had never been seen before until then. It is only found in these phytoplankton that make it. And they've detected it in mussels. They found it in some pelicans off the coast of California and some sardines in California. Yeah. So it's out there. And the symptoms are crazy. It, it's not only is it crazy, is that it, it the food chain is so becomes so obvious and apparent. It goes not just to shellfish, but it also does go to fin fish. So you have sardines, and you have now sea lions that are eating the anchovies and the sardines, and and you can see this, and they they get very sick. So do we. And then what happened is in 1991 in Monterey, California, they had several cases of this. It was already known, like Phil said, since uh, 1987. So what happened is that they shut down some of those uh, shellfish, like fisheries. And the economy, the economy, it tanked. So like these fishermen, the pe people's livelihood, it was so bad that they just had to reopen it. People were not okay with not being able to eat their mussels wow. and their oysters and stuff. So it was, it was kind of controversial back then. Nowadays, we have scrutinized shellfish before consu human consumption for the most part. How much risk do we face as just people today? Incredibly low. This okay. has only popped up a couple times ever around the world. So it's, it's very, very low, but it's good now that doctors know that it exists. So if they find it, they can kind of be prepared for it and shut down the industry as needed. Right. There is no treatment for it, but they've basically found that, yeah, like initially people would have bad indigestion and then there were some people that would have four to five hours of amnesia and they were completely coherent the whole time and then they would ask them five hours later what they just did. They would have no, no idea. idea. This is crazy to Crazy. Me. As, and as, hallucinating and confusing. Yes. They, yeah, they were delirious. They had no idea. They were just feeling very sick. And then they forgot everything that happened. And as, for humans, that is something that we can at least verbalize and tell our medical professionals. But you have sea lions and seagulls who are oh, having no. this. And they, they're they hallucinating. Have, exactly. So their behavior is just so confusing. And nobody knows what happens until, you know, most of the time they, the, their urine is analyzed. So, yeah, poor sea lions and what seagulls does just happen acting. When, yeah, when a pelican gets amnesia, does a does pelican it, like, like, crash? Have I eaten today? They why, don't is to fly. My, why is my flat full of fish right now? What did I do? Where did this come from? Wow, that's crazy. And, yeah, you're right. They can't speak for themselves. So maybe if you see um, a marine animal acting mm -hmm. weirdly, they lay might off the muscles for a while. Perhaps. Oh, gosh, that's so <laughs> worrisome. Wow, this is interesting to learn because I am frequently confused and frequently consume shellfish. Uh, but I probably <laughs> didn't have this poisoning if what you say is true, and I believe it is. Um, so what do you think of the idea of having amnesia after eating some mussels or clams? Uh, let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe. <laughs>